Hi, in this video, we are going to understand the sixth chapter that is life process, which is divided into two parts. In this video, we are going to understand the first part. We will cover the following topics in this video. First, we will know what is life process. After that, we will know about mode of nutrition in short. After that, we will learn about autotrophic nutrition in detail. We will also study the equation and main events of photosynthesis in detail. The video mainly helps in study about all the life events performed in plants. Respiration in plants will also be studied in this video. We will learn about the transportation in plants, that is transport of water, food and other substances and excretion in plant. Lastly, we will know some important definitions. So, let's start with our first topic. The very first thing that comes to our mind before starting the chapter is what is life process? Well, life process is all the process which together keep the living organisms live and perform the job of body maintenance. It means an organism takes in food, utilizes it to get energy for growth, repair and maintenance etc. and excretes the waste materials from the body. Examples are nutrition, respiration, etc. The major criterion which is used to decide whether something is alive or not is movement and growth. Mode of nutrition Mode of nutrition means method of obtaining food by an organism. There are mainly two modes of nutrition. First one is autotrophic mode and second one is heterotrophic mode. Let us study about them in details. Now, the first one is autotrophic mode. As the name suggests, auto means self and trophy means nutrition or nourishment. In this mode of nutrition, organism makes or synthesizes its own food by photosynthesis. For example, all green plants, autotrophic bacteria. And the second one is heterotrophic mode. As the name suggests, hetero means others and trophy means nutrition or nourishment. In this mode of nutrition, organisms depend on other organisms for its food. For example, all the animals, man, dog, cat, lion, etc., most bacteria and fungi. Now, we will study about autotrophic and heterotrophic mode of nutrition in detail. Autotrophic nutrition. It is a kind of nutrition in which inorganic materials like CO2, water, etc. are utilized to prepare organic food by the process of photosynthesis, for example, green plants. Equation for photosynthesis is 6CO2 plus 12H2O in the presence of sunlight plus chlorophyll gives C6H12O6 plus 6O2 plus 6H2O. The conditions necessary for photosynthesis to take place are Sunlight. It is inorganic material. Chlorophyll. Sunlight absorbed by chlorophyll. Carbon dioxide. Entered through stomata and oxygen is released as by product through stomata on leaf. Water plus dissolved minerals like nitrogen, phosphorus, etc. are taken up by the roots of the soil. 
main events of photosynthesis which takes place in cell of the leaf is chloroplast which contain chlorophyll are first absorption of light energy by chlorophyll second conversion of light energy into chemical energy plus splitting of water into hydrogen and oxygen at last reduction of co2 to carbohydrate now let's study about respiration in plants it means gaseous exchange in plant respiration in plants is simpler than the respiration in animals the leaves of a plant have tiny pores called stomata gaseous exchange occur through stomata in leaf by the process of diffusion through stomata carbon dioxide and oxygen are exchanged by diffusion here the direction of diffusion depends upon the environmental conditions and the requirements of the plant during daytime co2 generated during respiration is used up for photosynthesis hence there is no co2 release instead oxygen release is the major event at this time at night time when no photosynthesis occur and hence no oxygen is produced oxygen from air diffuses into leaves to carry out respiration and carbon dioxide produced by respiration diffuses out into air co2 elimination is the major exchange activity going on our next topic in this part is transportation in plant as we know that plant need less energy for transportation because they do not move so a slow transport system there are two main conducting pathways in a plant these are xylem and phloem xylem carries water and minerals from the root to other parts of the plant does not require energy phloem carries product of photosynthesis from leaves to other parts of the plant energy is used from atp let's start with transport of water it takes place by xylem tissue present in root stems and leaves and is therefore interconnected root cells take up ions from soil which create a concentration difference between root and soil column of water therefore rises upward transpiration transpiration is the process of loss of water as in the form of vapor from aerial parts of the plant its functions involves absorption and upward movement of water and minerals by creating pull helps in temperature regulation in plant transport of food and other substances it takes place by phloem tissue phloem transports amino acids and other substances the food made by leaf carried out food upward and downward from the leaf translocation is the process of movement of prepared food from leaves to different part of the plant excretion excretion is the biological process of removal of harmful metabolic waste from the body lastly we will talk about excretion in plants plants use different strategies for excretion of different product oxygen and carbon dioxide is diffused through stomata excess of water is removed by transpiration plants can even lose some of their old parts like old leaves and bark of tree 
other waste product stored in cellular vacuoles or in leaf which is fall off like resins and gums especially in old xylem cells plants also secrete or excrete some waste substances into the soil around them now at last we are going to study about some important terms we should remember they are nutrition the process in which an organism takes in food utilizes it to get energy for growth repair and maintenance etc and excretes the waste materials from the body autotrophs those organisms which can make their own food by photosynthesis heterotrophs those organism depends on other organism for their food photosynthesis the process by which autotrophs takes in co2 and h2o and convert these into carbohydrates in the presence of chlorophyll sunlight is called photosynthesis stomata tiny pores present on the surface of the leaf helps in exchange of gases o2 and co2 that's called stomata so that's all for now we will discuss more in next video thanks for watching